then. are brawling at the top of the stage. Clearly Axiom is not finished with Dexter Loomis. After Loomis submitted Axiom at Heat Wave and then proceeded to attack him after the matchup. And now Loomis, oh, super kick. And oh, I think Loomis was trying to lock in the silence. But now Axiom fighting back. And there's the Golden Ratio! Golden Ratio by Axiom! And I don't think he's done there. Axiom getting Loomis back up to his feet. And it looks like these two superstars are heading to the back. Well, security's gonna try and separate those two, but later tonight on main event, we'll see a fatal four-way elimination match between Kiana James, Wendy Chu, Alba Fire, and Blair Davenport. The winner will become number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship and will face Mandy Rose in the near future. And here comes the NXT Champion. This was how we were supposed to kick off the show tonight. LA Knight making his way down to the ring. And he is set to address his victory over Joe Gacy at NXT Heatwave, where he retained the NXT Championship against the leader of the Schism. What a reaction here tonight for the Megastar. We're gonna see what he has to say here this evening as we head toward NXT Gold Rush. And it seems that Gacy wants another opportunity at LA Knight. Let's hear from the Megastar right now. Let me talk to you. At Heat Wave, yours truly retained his NXT Championship against Joe Gacy. But last week, he came out to this very ring and implied that he wants to get dropped on his head again, courtesy of the Megastar. Yeah. Now clearly he has some business to take care of with his cult followers. So I'll let him deal with that. But when he's ready to step into this ring with me again, he knows where I'll be. And that's right here doing my thing. Yeah. In the meantime. Well, there is the aforementioned Joe Gacy. The leader of the schism. And as LA Knight just stated, it does seem that Gacy wants another shot at the NXT Championship. I don't have any business to take care of. All I have is one man to take care of, and that is you. You want to do this right here, right now, huh? No, 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 not right here and now. I want to do this at NXT Gold Rush, and I promise that at Gold Rush, I will become NXT Champion, something that should have happened at Heat Wave. Well, it's unfortunate that your little cult followers couldn't attend Heat Wave because I would have dropped them on their heads just like I did with you. Yeah, but it seems like there's tension brewing within the schism. There is no tension brewing at all. Shut your mouth. Did I hit a nerve? Oh, and it seems that LA Knight did hit a nerve. Blood Force trauma though by the Megastar. And Joe Gacy just got embarrassed by the NXT Champion.
Welcome back everyone to NXT. And the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Roxanne Perez and Nikita Lyons. Well, Lyons and Perez are fresh off a victory over Blair Davenport and Tatum Paxley, but tonight, they compete in this tournament, and they are looking to get one step closer to becoming the inaugural NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Lions and Perez make a very good tag team, as evidenced by their matchup with Davenport and Paxley. Welcome to the generation of Jane. Here comes the women they face tonight. And their opponents, Zoe Stark and Cora Jade. Two women that know Nikita Lyons and Roxanne Perez very well. Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons had a matchup some time ago. And Lyons was put down by Zoe Stark. And of course, Cora Jade. Well, we know the history between Jade and Perez. Laura Jade, the former friend, the former best friend of the Prodigy. And then Cora Jade would turn her back on Roxanne Perez. And the rest is history. These four superstars know each other pretty damn well. Tonight they collide inside the ring in this tournament. And it will be Perez starting things off with Zoe Stark. And there's the bell, we are now underway. And oh look at the speed and quickness of Stark. Inzaguri right to the side of the head. And Zoe Stark gaining the upper hand. But here comes Perez firing back. Looking for that neck breaker. But Zoe Stark overpowers Perez and delivers a net breaker of her own. And now right to the back of the Prodigy. Oh, and there's another kick to the back of Perez. Now the armbar applied. And oh my goodness. The arm of Roxanne Perez may have just got broken by Zoe Stark and Stark Went to follow up, Perez though back up to her feet. And it seems she's fine. No broken arm for Roxanne Perez. Zoe Stark just had her back broken maybe. Zoe Stark, Fireman's carry takeover. And Stark appears fine too. No injuries in this matchup, that's good to see. As now Perez sent into the corner, tag made. And in comes the woman that knows the prodigy very well. Cora J, double foot stomp. And Stark with that running knee. Great tag team combination there by Jade and Stark. Here's the cover. And a kick out at two already. That was one hell of a double team. And look at the aggression now here from Cora J. Right to the back of Roxanne Perez. Oh, and now Jade slamming Perez face first. And clearly, there's still animosity between these two women. Cora Jade off the sent on. Oh, and Nikita Lyons breaking things up. And Jade takes care of her. Roxanne from behind. Rolling up Cora Jade. Shoulders down for a two count. Oh, what an uppercut. Massive European uppercut there from Roxanne. And now the Luthers press. Roxanne unloading on her former friend. Turned bitter enemy. Modified Centon now. Perez into the cover to advance in the tournament. Kick out at two. Perez almost getting the victory right there for her team. 
The matchup continues, and now Jade sent into the corner. Nobody home. And Jade with the basement drop kick. Taking out the foundation of the prodigy, and what a knee. A knee there by Cora. Perez rolls to the outside. Which team will advance here in this first round match? We are back here on NXT as the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues. Cora J teaming up tonight with Zoe Stark as they battle Roxanne Perez and Nikita Lyons. Here comes Roxanne once again trying to fight back. Oh, and Zoe Stark just got sent right into the official. Roxanne hits as a takeover. And now Perez may be thinking about Pop Rocks. Zoe Stark saw it coming. And now Stark, half and half suplex. No, Perez had it scouted. Oh, another massive uppercut from the Prodigy. Can she capitalize on the moment? Stark sent into the corner, and here comes Nikita Lyons, who enters this matchup tonight for the first time. Nikita Lyons, such a proficient striker, but so is Zoe Stark. And oh, Stark went for the super kick. Got caught by Lyons. And now Nikita Lyons went for a kick of her own. So we start reversing. And now rolls through, does Stark, and there's the super kick. And now Stark may be thinking Z360, but Lyons, oh, what a lariat. Back and forth between these two superstars. Mitchell Oka Driver from Nikita Lyons to put away Zoe Stark. No. Stark raising her shoulder in time. And now Lyons may have been picking super kick, but Zoe Stark now lining up Nikita. Stark thinking about the half and half. Suplex Lyons reversing. And now from behind, back break up. Lyons just driving a knee right into the spine of Zoe Stark. And now Stark has been set up in the ropes. And Lyons driving her knee into the midsection. Lyons in full control right now. She could be closing in. Oh, but wait a minute, Zoe Stark collapsing to the map, made the tag, and in comes Cora Jade. Cora Jade re-enters the matchup super kick now. Oh, what a drop kick. And Cora Jade just mocking Lions. And now lining her up. Cora Jade measuring Nikita Lyons. Oh, but Lyons with that elbow to the midsection of what a kick. Spinning heel kick from Nikita Lyons. Cora Jade now on the apron. There's a shot right to the face. And now Cora Jade's gonna fly. Missile drop kick, no water in the pool. Oh my God. Cora Jade could be out of it. Leg drop. Zoe Stark just got knocked off in the apron. This could do it. And it's over. Lions and Perez advance. Here are your winners. Nikita Lions and the Prodigy. Roxanne Perez. Lions and Perez advance to the next round of this tournament. Again? Where were you this time? I thought you were going to handle him. Look, this is very easy to understand, all right? When it looks like I need your help, you get out to the ring and help. Now, you've got a match next with Carmelo Hayes and whoever he's found to be his partner tonight. I want you to deal with him.
We are back here on NXT. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 413 pounds. The Ski Zone. Well, Rip Fowler and Jagger Reed are set for tag team action here tonight on NXT. They take on Carmelo Hayes and a partner of his choice. Who has Carmelo Hayes found to be his partner here tonight? We are about to find out. Meanwhile, the cracks within the schism continue to form. I don't care what Gacy has to say about it. There is clearly some tension brewing within the schism. And our opponents, first from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Well, I would say that Trip Williams would be the obvious tag team partner for Melo here tonight, but he got taken out at the hands of the schism last week. Carmelo Hayes took on Joe Gacy, and before the matchup, Hayes left Williams by himself while he went to the, the bathroom, and the schism struck, took out Trent Williams, which caused Williams to receive medical attention. And while he was receiving that medical attention, he could not accompany Carmelo Hayes to the ring. And so the schism had their way with Carmelo. Distraction after distraction. And that eventually led to a Joe Gacy victory last week here on NXT. Oh my goodness. LA Knight is the tag team partner for Melo. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the NXT champion, LA Knight. Well, Joe Gacy has marked LA Knight. He wants the NXT championship. And despite failing at Heatwave, he wants another shot at the mega store. Earlier tonight, Knight and Gacy exchanged words. And Joe Gacy got himself embarrassed at the hands of the NXT champion. The cracks continue to form within the schism. And now LA Knight interjecting himself with the schism's business. Rip Fowler going to start things off with Melo. And this tag team matchup is a go. We are underway. And Fowler driving the knees right into the midsection of Carmelo Hayes. And look at the aggression here. Fowler and Reed are looking to rebound from their mistake at NXT Heatwave where they failed to show. Wait a minute, a cover and LA Knight breaks things up immediately. Rip Fowler and Jagger Reed, though, failed to show up at NXT Heatway. And this has caused a wedge to brew within the, uh, the schism as Fowler takes out LA Knight. But that allows Melo to hit the snap suplex. Hayes takes advantage of the distraction by Knight. Kick out at one. Fowler and Reed have a lot to prove here tonight as they look to make amends with their leader. Joe Gacy, and wait a second, cover by Hayes, off the top rope, here's the cover, and Melo looking to score the victory, kick out again at one. It is still early days here in this tag team matchup, as now Rip Fowler looking to isolate Carmelo Hayes. The tag was made, Jagger Reed is legal, and oh, Reed to the, to the leg of Melo. Nice double team by the schism. All the way to second, Hayes. Trying to fight back against both men. The valiant Carmelo Hayes fighting on. Great combination. 
And there's a kick right to the spine. No, wait a second, Carmelo Hayes. He went for the fadeaway. Jagger Reed getting out of the way of it. And there's a scoop slam. Followed up with an elbow. And the tag was made. In comes the Mega Storm. LA Knight with a clothesline. And the NXT champion going to turn things around for his team. Oh, but there's a forearm from Jagger Reed. Went for the leg sweep. LA Knight says, I don't think so. Oh, what a shot. What a haymaker. Jagger Reed just got rocked at the hands of the NXT champion. Can the schism get back into this matchup? Are you enjoying the video? Then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. We are back here on NXT as the Schism look to make amends with their leader, Joe Gacy tonight. They take on LA Knight and Carmelo Hayes. And LA Knight back in control. Massive drop kick. And LA Knight is rolling with the NXT Universe behind him. Knight measuring his man, measuring Rip Fowler, but there's a back elbow, and oh, a kick went to the shin. And now Fowler, pop handle suplex. And Fowler tooling away to the fans. And now switching his focus back to LA Knight. Oh, and LA Knight just got stomped. Rip Fowler sends LA Knight into the corner of the schism tag. Back to Reed. And again, the double team from the schism. Could that be enough to make amends with their leader, Joe Gacy? Cobble and a kick out by Knight. And Jagger Reed can't believe it. He thought that he had the matchup won. Gonna take a lot more than that though to put down the NXT Champion. And still to come your way tonight on main event. We'll see a fatal four-way elimination match between Wendy Chu, Alba Fire, Blair Davenport, and Kiana James. The winner will become number one contender to the NXT Women's Championship. And wait a minute, LA Knight running hammer. That could do it. Here's the cover at all. Saved by Fowler. And Rip Fowler just got wiped out. Jagger Reed though rolls to the outside of the ring. Coming up next, Cameron Grimes will go one on one with Noam Dahl. Back to the action at hand though. Carmelo Hayes back into this matchup. LA Knight made the tag and Melo not wasting time. He's going to work. Tope Con Hero. And Rick Fowler just got taken out. Mello going off to both members of the schism. Carmelo Hayes is on a mission tonight after his friend Trent Williams got taken out at the hands of Reed and Fowler last week. Jagger Reed though has turned the tables. Hayes back up to his feet with the pump kick. Reed backs up and now looks for that fisherman suplex. Northern Light suplex by Hayes. And now Melo setting up for a DDT. Jagger Reed able to reverse. Super kick. Down goes the Mega Store. And this could be it. Cobble. The schism to get the win. Hayes kicks out. That was close. And now Jagger Reed may have Hayes reeling. There's a knee low to the midsection. Code breaker. Down goes Fowler. And this could be the moment. Carmelo Hayes up to the top turnbuckle. And Hayes is going to shoot. 
And he don't miss. Nothing but net to Jagger Reed. And that's all she won. Well, you have to imagine the cracks that were beginning to fall within the schism just got a whole lot big off. LA Knight and Carmelo Hayes get the victory tonight on NXT. Joining me at this time, Carmelo Hayes. Congratulations on the victory a moment ago. What is next for you here on NXT? I'll tell you what is next for me is championship gold. Whether it be the NXT title, the North American title, or hell, maybe me and Trick will go after the tag titles. All I'm focused on right now is gold. And that's all it is. And it's all it's ever gonna be. Well, Carmelo Hayes has his sights set on championship gold. And here comes another man with his eyes on the prize, or in his words, he wants to go to the moon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grant. Well, Cameron Grimes tonight is set for one-on-one -on -one action with the Scottish supernova, Noam Dorr. And of course, Nathan Frazier is now without an opponent for NXT Goldwash. He dealt with JD McDonough last week when McDonough got his one-on-one -on -one rematch with Frazier. So the question is, who will be next in line for a shot at Nathan Frazier's NXT North American title. Will it be Carmelo Hayes? Will it be Cameron Grimes? Or will it be this man, the Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar? It could very well be any of the three men that I just named. his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. Well, this is going to be a good match. Noam Dar is a technician. He's a submission specialist. He's also very crafty inside the ring. Cameron Grimes is a high flyer and a proficient striker. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, and I'm very interested to see who walks out of this one with the victory. Noam Dar versus Cameron Grimes, potential North American Championship implications. This is going to be good. Got to thank Nathan Frazier is watching this one very closely because one of these two men may end up facing him down the line for the North American Championship as we are now underway. And Grimes, look at the power here early on. Got red suplex. Wow. Hot start to this matchup. And Grimes has the upper hand. Snapmare takedown. Grimes comes off the rope. PK. And a double foot stomp to follow. Cover by Grimes to pick up the victory and a kick out by Dahl. Still early days in this one. Oh, but Cameron Grimes remaining in the driver's seat. There's another double foot stomp. Kick to the face. And Grimes is all fired up. Tremendous opportunity perhaps on the line for one of these two men in the near future. No Amdor dodges the roundhouse kick. Here comes the Scottish Supernova trying to fight back. And he goes right off to the arm of Cameron Grimes. 
Alantos, a very crafty individual. Grimes is going to have to watch out for his strategies tonight. Let's look at Noam Dor honing in on the arm of Grimes. Dor, of course, as I mentioned a moment ago, he is a submission specialist. And he is softening up the arms of Cameron Grimes. No doubt for a submission later on, but what a kick there by Grimes. We are back here on NXT as Cameron Grimes battles Noam Dar tonight. And there is potential North American Championship implications on this matchup. Nathan Frazier is without an opponent at this juncture. He defeated JD McDonough last week. So McDonough's not getting another shot at his title. Will it be one of these two men that faces Nathan Frazier next for the NXT North American title? They are victorious tonight, maybe. As Grimes went for the drop kick there in the corner. No one Dor saw it coming. And now look at the forearms from Dor. Oh, but there's the Scottish sickle. That lariat to the back of the skull. Come on. And he almost had Grimes beat. And now Dor getting frustrated. As he once again goes after the arm of Cameron Grimes and he has been focusing on the arm of Cameron Grimes throughout this matchup. Oh, but now he's going to shift his focus. Noam Dar looking for the Nova Roller. Grimes moving out of the way. And now Noam Dar gets sent off the ropes right into the collision course. And that may have just led Cameron Grimes to the victory. No! Noam Dar hangs on in there. This matchup continues, but Noam Dar, he's in a bad way. Dar was in a bad way as he gets sent to the outside of the ring. And now Cameron Grimes is going to put his body on the line. Cameron Grimes picking up some speed, but he ran right into that right hand. And now Noam Dar. Back in control. Big forearms again from the Scottish Supernova. And Dar's calling for the end. There's another forearm. No and Dar gonna finish the job. Nova Roller. He hit it that time. Come on. Oh, Grimes, no Amtor gets the win. Here is your winner, No Amtor. Well, does that victory put No Amtor in line for a shot at Nathan Frazier's North American Championship? Time will tell, I guess. We are back here on NXT and after what transpired earlier tonight, Joe Gacy gets his wish. He gets another opportunity to become NXT champion at Gold Rush when he takes on the megastar LA Knight for the NXT title. Toxic. More women's division though coming your way up next here on the white and gold brand. There is toxic attraction. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Mandy Rose, Gigi Dolan, and JCG. Toxic Attraction! Well, Toxic Attraction will set the compete tonight in the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And well, they certainly believe that they have this in the bag. You may remember Mandy Rose stating a couple of weeks back that they were eyeing up the Women's Tag Team titles. That was before the NXT Women's Tag Team titles were reinstated. 
Now I am sure they have their eyes set on this tournament. Mandy Woe's out here as well to help them out. And you know damn well Mandy's going to get involved in this. High stakes in this one. And their opponents, Candice LeRae and Indy Hardwell. Remember, Mandy Rose wants to take Toxic Attraction back to the top of NXT. She already has the NXT Women's Championship. And now, Toxic Attraction looking to get their hands on the vacated NXT Women's Tag Team titles. They take on these two women, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in their own right. This is a first round match in this tournament. Who will be advancing? Earlier tonight, Nikita Lyons and Roxanne Perez were able to advance to the next round and they will meet the winner of this matchup in the near future. So it seems Gigi Dolan will start things off with Candice LeRae tonight. And here we go. The bell sounds, these two women locking up. And Dolan, oh, what a kick out of the spine. Strong start here for Toxic Attraction. As they gain the upper hand. Oh, disrespectful slap there to the face of LeRae. And Lorray not taking too kindly to it. Lorray exploding back with a clothesline. Now taking Dolan off her feet. Gets kicked away though. And there's a boot went to the face. Just like that, Dolan regaining control. And now Candace picked back up to a vertical base. And she gets sent into the corner. Tag and in comes JC Jane. Oh, stereo super kicks by Toxic Attraction. And Lorray was able to make the tag. In comes Indy Hartwell. And Hartwell missing out. <laughs> JC Jane unloading. Oh, but look at Hartwell. Hartwell now with a striking combination. Massive drop kick. There's an elbow to the chest of Jane. And there's the power of Indy Hartwell coming into play. JC Chain just got launched across the ring. And there's a drop kick now to the spine. Indy Hartwell turning this matchup around. As now Jane is sent into the corner tag. In comes Candace once again. And check this out. Nice double team by Lorraine and Hartwell. Will it be enough to advance? Oh, there's Gigi Dolan. Not wasting a second to break that up. The stakes are far too high. And Dolan just got wiped out. And now Candace over the top rope, taking out JC Chain. Can Toxic Attraction get back into this matchup? High stakes here in this one. We are back here on NXT as the tournament to crown the inaugural NXT Women's Tag Team Champions rolls on. Toxic Attraction taking on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And LeRae able to escape the submission dropkick. Taking down Gigi Dolan for the moment. And now Candice LeRae in control. Tag back to Indy Hartwell. And look at this, Indy Hartwell with the assisted scoop slam. Come on, to advance in the tournament. Kick out at two. Oh, and now Dolan nails that ball on shot. And look at the striking combination into the embodied DDT. 
who will be advancing to the next round in this tournament as Dona looks to put it away right here in the Hartwell end of the counter. Oh, Spinebuster! Could that be enough for Hartwell and Moreno? JC Jane makes the save. And there goes Candace. Indy Hartwell shifting her focus to JC Jane. Vertical suplex. Dolan though is the legal superstar. And Indy Hartwell just got kicked right in the face. Hartwell sent off the right drop toe hold. Hartwell just got tripped up. And now Gigi Dolan setting her up. STO. Gigi Dolan hooks the leg to advance in the tournament. Indy Hartwell still in it. What a matchup here tonight between these two teams. As Dolan sends Hartwell back into the corner of Toxic Attraction. The tag was made. Oh, Bronco Buster by Dolan. And now the legal superstar, JC Chain with a cannonball. Larray, corner of the knee. And JC Chain succeeds in knocking Larray off the apron. And this could be Toxic Attraction's moment. There's another suplex. This time by JC Chain. JC Chain with some trash talk. Oh, and Hartwell. Called her right in the face with that kick. And Lorray back up onto the apron for the tag. Lorray now re-enters the fold. Codebreaker with an assist from Hartwell. That could do it. Come on. No, oh, and Dolan at the last second. Keeping the matchup alive. And Lorray thinking about the Springboard Moonsault. And the hesitation may have just cost her. Code breaker by Jane. And look at Gigi Dolan going off to Indy Hartwell. Hartwell, boy, I believe, took out Gigi Dolan. And a pivotal point now here in this matchup. Luray, drop kick in the corner. And Candace Luray going to pay tribute to her husband. We're going out of escape. The Gorgano escape is locked in. This could do it. What is JC Jane going to do? Oh, she's trying to find out. And she does. Somehow, JC Jane remaining in this matchup. DDT. And now Luray is in a precarious situation. Double leg takedown. And there's the decapitator. And now JC Chain could be closing in on the victory. Lorraine gets sent into the corner. Indy Hartwell caught Chain with a knee. Chain tried to knock Indy Hartwell off the apron. Hartwell was ready for her. And now Lorraine had some time to regroup. Net breaker. And now Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose, of course, providing a distraction for her girls. Dolan with a roll up, not like this. Oh, Luray's still in it. This is coming down to the wire. Inseguri by Dolan. And now Luray gonna be set up for the GG Tribal. Hartwell's down, and this could be it. You have to give the assist to Mandy Rose for providing the distraction that allowed Dolan to tag in and hit the GG driver. It's over. Toxic attraction and boards, thanks to Mandy Rose. Here are your winners, GG Dolan and JC J. Toxic attraction. One step closer to getting back to the top of NXT. Will Toxic Attraction hold all the gold once again?
I am joined by Noam Dar, who earlier tonight scored a big win over Cameron Grimes. I did. I'm glad you were paying attention. I hope everyone was paying attention because Carmelo Hayes isn't the only one with their eyes on championship gold. And it's got to be said, Nathan Frazier would be one hell of a challenger for the Scottish Supernova. How about it, Nathan? You, me, for your title. Well, there you have it. The challenge has been officially issued by Noam Dar. Right now, though, it's time for our main event. The following is an elimination match. Making our way to the ring from Iowa, Deanna Jams. So we are about to determine Mandy Rose's next challenger for the NXT Women's Championship. Deanna James, the first competitor here in this fatal four-way elimination match. You are eliminated by pinfall or submission. The last woman standing will be number one contender. There will be no disqualifications or count outs in effect. And here comes Blair Davenport. Davenport switching her attention from the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament to the NXT Women's title. And her opponents, first from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport, of course, in the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament with her partner Tatum Paxley. But tonight, Davenport goes singles competitor once again. She has her eyes set on Mandy Rose and the NXT Women's title. Will it be Davenport that faces Mandy Rose in the near future? Davenport has a two and one win loss record thus far here in universe mode. Deanna James has a 0-1 win-loss record. Four superstars looking to earn their shot at the NXT Women's Championship. Only one of these women will be able to get it. And well, here comes the woman that may be wants it the most. Alba Fire the former NXT Women's Champion. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Alba Fire lost her championship at the Great American Bash to Mandy Rose thanks to a distraction by Gigi Dolan. Alba Fire has declared war on Mandy Rose and the rest of Toxic Attraction. She wants her championship back. Tonight she has a chance to earn another opportunity at getting what she wants. Fire came up short at Heatwave inside the steel cage in her official rematch for the championship. Now she has to earn another shot at Mandy Rose. Alba Fire is going to be more motivated than ever here this evening. Can Alba Fire earn herself another shot at Mandy Rose here tonight? And we can't forget about the final competitor here in this matchup. Here comes Wendy Chu. And from Queens, New York, Wendy Chu. All four of these women are looking to make an opportunity for themselves. 
looking to become NXT Women's Champion. First, they have to get past one another. Wendy Chu's win loss record is two and one. All of these superstars have to bring their A game here tonight if they want an opportunity at the NXT Women's title. Our main event is about to be underway. Who's going to become number one contender? Here we go, let's find out. It's Wendy Chu goes off to Blair Davenport, catches a knee. And look at Alba Foyle taking it to Kiana James and Davenport. And now Wendy Chu going off to Foyle. Remember, this is elimination style. The last woman in this matchup to not be eliminated will be the winner. Let's look at Wendy Chu coming up, going around. Sending Davenport for a while. Now Chu going off to Keanu James, jawbreaker. Meanwhile, Alba Foyer, oh, what a kick there to the face. And now Wendy Chu drops her hold. Hold on a minute, Camel Clutch looked in on James. Keanu James could be the first to be eliminated. But she stays in this matchup. Now Alba Boyle, oh, catches the boot from Davenport, but she's went back up to her feet. That was insane. Now Davenport colliding the skulls of Fire and James, what a knee. Davenport looking for the first elimination, and it could be Alba Boyle now. Fire kicks out. This matchup continues. Davenport with the chops. Fire on Cook's a big right hand. And now Wendy Chu picking her moment. Exploder suplex. Takes care of Blair Davenport. And now Alba Foyle. Has Wendy Chu up momentarily. But there's a chop block. Now Keanu James taking out Davenport on the outside of the ring. Alba Foyle with a drop kick. Alba Fire is clearly very motivated here tonight, and she needs to be if she wants another shot at Mandy Rose. Fiona James now gets hung up to dry. And look at Wendy Chu, belly to back suplex. Now Blair Davenport getting involved. Wendy Chu trying to fight back, but Alba Fire caught over the glory bomb. Glory bomb to Wendy Chu. Come on. Do we have our first elimination? Wendy Chu has been eliminated. Wendy Chu is gone. Just like that. And now Blair Davenport. Explode a suplex to Kiana James. Who's going to become number one contender? We are back here on NXT. This is our main event of the evening. As we look to determine... Who will face Mandy Rose next for the NXT Women's Championship? And right now, Keanu James having her way with Blair Davenport. Now shifts focus to Alba Foyle, who uncorks a big forearm. Oh, Insiguri! And Alba Foyle looking for her second elimination. Keanu James could be gone. No, she kicks out. Wendy Chu was eliminated before the commercial break by Alba Foyle, who is on a mission here tonight. Foyle tripping up Davenport, and now, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Alba Foyle heading to the top turnbuckle. Davenport was one step ahead. Foyle, no doubt, was thinking about her swanton bomb. Oh, and Keanu James with a stop sign to the face of Davenport. And now setting up Alba Foyle for the 401k. Alba Foyle could be gone. Oh, but she kicked out. And Keanu James can't believe it. And oh, Davenport back in. In Zaguri. 
And now, Blair Davenport looking for a receipt for that stop sign. But Keanu James, oh! Just got caught with that Springwell drop kick. Out of the fire, out of nowhere. And now Davenport, Falcon Arrow. Come on, James. A double team of sorts gets rid of James. An unintentional double team. Oh, Gory Bomb to Davenport. Out of the fire to become number one contender. Davenport's still in it. Blair Davenport is now the only woman standing in Alba Foyer's way. Foyer with a boot there to the midsection. And now Davenport with the inside cradle. Shoulders down to become number one contender. Foyer kicks at two. Oh, what a kick there to the spine. And now Davenport's going to head up top. What the hell is Blair Davenport thinking? Oh, double foot stop. Caught Alba Fire right in the midsection. And now, one final shot to Alba Fire. Davenport has done it. No! Alba Fire running on adrenaline tonight. She wants this more than anything. She wants another shot at Mandy Rose. And now Davenport with the kendo stick, Foyer turns things around. Oh, Davenport right to the midsection, back and forth between these two women. They both want the chance to become NXT Women's Champion. Only one of them will walk out of tonight with that chance. No, oh, right to the back. And again, Alba Foyle, relentless. She is on a mission tonight. Went for the Gory Bomb, Davenport caught her out. And now Foyle to the outside of the ring. Davenport lining her up. The top guy, Jim, Tope Suicida. Davenport could be closing in on the victory. She needs to get Foyer back inside the ring, and she does. This could be Blair's moment. Blair Davenport waiting for Foyer. Oh, Alba Foyer pops right back up to her feet. And there's a scoop slam. And now going right back off to that stop sign. Oh my God. No disqualifications here this evening, anything goes. Oh, Tope Suicida by Alba Fire. Out of absolutely nowhere. Davenport rolling to the outside. Alba Fire was ready. She is laser focused here this evening. Jumping flatliner. And look at Alba Fire go. I have never seen her this motivated before, this determined to be number one contender. This could be Alba Fire's only chance, for the moment at least, to get back at Mandy Rose for costing her the championship to begin with. Led Davenport may be out of it. Oh, wait a second, Davenport, I think, was playing possum. And now Alba Foyer sent back into the ring. Davenport utilizing some underhanded tactics. Oh, with a kick to the head. And Foyer went face first onto the stop sign. She had the wherewithal, though, to roll to the outside. Trying to buy herself some more time. But Blair Davenport sends her back into the ring again. And could this be Davenport's moment? Blair Davenport lining up Alba Foyer. Oh, Foyer Kua, Hurricane Rana. Alba Foyer still in this. Oh, again with the stop sign. Oh, 
Oh, Davenport able to evade. Drop to hold. Alba Foy was ready for Davenport. And now, Alba Foy up top. Can she hit it? Spots on form. This could be it. Alba Foy to become number one contender. She's done it. Alba Foy gets another shot at Mandy Rose. Here is your winner. There was nothing stopping Alba Foyer tonight. She was the most determined superstar in this matchup, without a doubt. Alba Foyer gets another shot at Mandy Rose. Can she get back her championship?